Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. You can also um, follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. So just go ahead. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when you jump over there, just FYI, I've got some scammers. So please know like my only links anything all down below in the description box the only way that you can get my services is through my website i will never ever personally dm you for money or readings no please no i would not do that so report and block asap and as always thank you guys so much for liking subscribing thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel let's dive in here okay so, Shamanama, Scorpio, we've got moving forward. Oh, well, that was quite a few. Let me see if we get a little more specific. But I did see the sun and the emperor. So that's kind of looking good to me. Oh, May. It's May, huh? Something could be coming up with your guys' father. What is that? Oh, so many. All right, we will take them. Gosh, why? Okay, <laughs> sorry. So we've got Shamanana. We've got the mustard there in the center. Almost like the Ace of Cups, but there's a deeper meaning. So give me a second. We've got Cancer Chariot, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I don't know if that's mixed in here. We've also got Taurus with the Hierophant. And then the Hermit, Virgo, coming into your reading. Okay, so that mustard card is actually pretty powerful. Wow. So the interesting thing about this is the mustard seed talks about, like, if you guys have ever heard that saying in the bible like a mustard seed like the i don't even remember what it is i'm ter terrible at remembering like sayings and quotes and stuff i'm horrible at it but the mustard fascinatingly talks about like the size of a mustard seed it's tiny 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 and yet it contains all the information that it needs for this huge plant to grow so it's talking about Right now, what would be beneficial for you, especially during this Mercury retrograde, this is why it's just hilarious that this, this is coming up, because this can talk about that it's good for you to actually pull out of your broad perspective, which I would be hesitant to say this normally, but it's saying right now it's good for you to actually focus on the tiny details. It's like the, the devil's in the details right now. You might be just really looking at something minute looking at like uh their skill and being able to flesh out the intricacies of a situation and that is where you'll really flourish right now is in tiny little details of what you're dealing with like your day-to-day -day and things as far as that nature so now and the other side of this is it talks about all the strength that's in like the power and strength that's in something that seems so tiny so it's saying don't really like you know it's saying don't foster anything that takes away your happiness from you it's all about generating positive energy and look out for yourself first and foremost right now like don't even worry so much i think it might be that you're focusing like pulling your focus away from others at this time and doing what you need to do to protect yourself at this time because like maybe certain people have abandoned you and and that's kind of a good thing because I feel like you might have been finding your inner strength okay so queen of swords yeah it might be your like 
at this time not so much coming across as very emotional okay it might almost even come across scorps as like a tad bit cutthroat because you've got the chariot and i feel like this might be that you're just kind of cutting out things right now because you're You've got something that's going to allow you to move forward. It's almost like a door that's opening. And right now, it might be a little bit crazy because you have a lot of like little tiny details to focus on to move you in a specific direction. That's exactly what's happening. But you've got an energy that's guiding you. It could be a very spiritual energy. Like, I don't know if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, but right now, I'm getting Scorps like for you. Whoever this energy is that came into your life, I don't know the timing that they did come in, but for some reason, the way that they're popping out in this particular reading is that you're wanting to move toward it. That's the chariot. I don't know if you're traveling or... But right now, this energy is like in hermit, okay? that It's not really communicating or speaking much because it, it is highly spiritual. I mean, that's totally how it comes across. So if you've got, if something seemed significant to you, like that there was this kind of profound connection that you felt to a person or a thing or a place, it's like you are kind of in this protective energy where you're maybe cutting certain things out because you don't want anything to get in the way of you moving towards this. So that's why you might be coming across as this Queen of Swords, like kind of like you're not really too concerned, which I'm not saying is a bad thing at all, okay? I think there's a time and place where you just activate certain energies and based off of like your own, maybe even survival needs for some of you guys, like that can totally be the case. It's kind of like, you're feeling pushed at this time to just move forward. And that might be feeling kind of like crazy, exciting, because you can actually go towards what you want. And it that can bring up a whole, a whole, whole lot of different <laughs> emotions and things. So that's why I'm getting like, you might seem a bit unemotional or not, not very like, um, People just might see you as cold and detached in some way. Hold on. We're here. Um, it's getting a little hot. Okay. Just adjusting. Here we go. Let's dive into the details. Oh my gosh. Okay. Also, with this Hierophant card, that's like traditions. Okay. And that can be self-discipline. And also, always the thing that I say is like, self-discipline creates freedom, not the other way around. Like people, a lot of people want to be free, but self-discipline equals freedom. And you might be kind of grappling with that right now. Okay, let's see. Sheesh. Okay, what have we got? Temperance, Scorpio. Okay. We've got Temperance at the top. I don't know if you've got a Sagittarius, but holy freaking major arcanas. Okay, and then Gemini, Virgo. You've got the Four of Wands. Okay, you've got the Queen of Wands, and there's the King of Swords. Okay, I'm. let me grapple with this a little. What is it with me and grapple in this reading? Why do I keep saying that word? I've never said that word. Okay. You're like grappling with a situation. You've got the four of wands below. Some of you guys, that could be about a marriage. You're either married or you've, um, you've got the magician card right there. Or you're dealing with a married couple. I don't know what it is. Like, it's going to be obviously different for all of you. But let me finish pulling the cards here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Five of Pentacles. Okay. <sighs> Dang, is this what I think it is? you've got there's your energy there's the death card 
health is a big influence and Pluto retrograde is going to be highly significant for you. I don't know why I was pulling those ones. Okay. Six of pentacles. You have the knight of swords in your mind. I feel like slow, like in your mind, you're going over a conversation and it could have been something here about like, I don't know if there's a monetary exchange that's happened here, but I can see that you're still thinking about the conversation or analyzing it. Um, or like the truth might be washing over you. You know how there can be an exchange that happens and you're kind of, you're, you're like, maybe slowly grasping onto the truth of a situation you might not have seen it previously but i'm getting like the more that you're pulling out of uh, your emotional side and the more that you're doing maybe there's even certain things that you're doing connected with the small details like that you're noticing catering more to like what pulls in your strengths and makes you feel confident and strong holy shiz you have the sun as the outcome well, thank God. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's amazing. Here's the thing. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, why was I picking up on this? Yeah, you've got the devil in here. Okay, and it's so funny. I said the devil is in the details. All right, here's what I think is happening. I do think it's kind of almost a run-in from last week's message. Like, you've got a really strong pull to a human. And first off, I think that it, it, the thing that you don't see coming is you're going to pull into something super exciting. You've got the sun card. But what I'm getting... Wow, this is really fascinating. Right now... Okay. If you guys know anything about, like, the sun, especially in us, uh, like... In astrology the Sun is about you your confidence shining some of you guys it even could be spotlight and I'm seeing that you are slowly heading in the direction depending on what you do in your day-to-day -day, right and it's like confidence is an energy and the more that you do things that fosters confidence every day, it becomes a part of your reality. That's almost like the tiny breaking it down in an energetic way is like the more that you activate it in small little details that you take action on, you all of a sudden it will become your reality. And I'm seeing that as you move through that, it will also make your reality shift. Okay, this is like the quantum stuff. What happens is like everything that shifts at the quantum level will all of a sudden manifest into your real reality. And so I'm seeing that you guys will transform into something different as far as the sun card being your outcome, where all of a sudden your life will be full of happiness, joy, and confidence, or you will just be shining, you know, this higher aspect of yourself. So all the devil in the details so here's the thing I do think that you've got a person that is highly freaking intelligent and previously um oh yeah yeah let's talk about this okay so usually when you go through this connection especially since we have the devil the magician the death card like you've got Pluto and five of pentacles everything you're dealing with an energy somewhere in your midst. I don't know who, if it's in your work environment or it's a love connection or you're living with this person. I don't know. But it's showing me that you, you're in a particular phase with this person. And usually how it goes when you have a, when you're in an interaction with this person's shadow, their trauma is so deep. So your interaction is like, admire me, play with me, and then mother me. So depending on where you guys are at in this specific lineup of the energy, this person, you could have moved past the love bombing phase and now you're in the, or like admiring that person. Like they were like, I'm this incredible person. And now this person is transitioning into the play with me. So that's when they can play mind games what in the world wow i would never get this from what is this so that's the play with me card but it's kind of like a cat and mouse game you know like this person might 
oh this is what it is so if you guys know like when it comes to this person and their their shadow it's like something happened to them traumatically that's the pluto energy this is stored in their cells so something happened when they were younger and you know how as child as children like children play with toys they take them apart and they put them back together so this person what they'll try to do is see if they can move your mind like they will literally this is like a part of the psychological part that's kind of frightening but this person will the way that they play mind games is like they try to take apart your health and your mind through manipulation oh god i'm so sorry but this is what it is and i'm feeling like this interaction in some way and it might be that you're like this person has a heightened sense of this rejection and abandonment and for some of you guys i'm even getting to there aren't any third parties in here so i just want to say that as far as like it's not it's not like it's non-existent in this, like that there's not third parties being used, okay? But right now what it's focusing on the most is um, this person, the way that they're trying to manipulate you the most at this time is they want you to feel left out in the cold. Like they want to maybe take something from you or uh, like make you even feel left out from their emotions. And that's a part of the discard okay so you have to like stay super aware scorps like that like this is a part of the interaction and i feel like your biggest challenge at this time with the knight of swords coming in with the six of pentacles in your mind is your the name of the game for you is to be in the sun energy which might feel like the biggest challenge for you but i'm feeling like it might be that you you just can come back to this positive place pretty naturally. You know, that you just know you're taken care of by the universe. And you are. You're totally being watched over through this whole thing. Being protected. And I would continue to trust. You don't have to do anything that I say. But I'm saying, like, keep your mind almost in the space of remembering these remember the side of this person that you saw okay you have to like actively kind of keep your mind connected to this truth because you can easily get pulled into the manipulative side of this which is very unfortunate but that's like that's the genius of this human you know like this and and you know it's fascinating I'm seeing about this for some of you guys if this is like if this has a romantic element to it I just have to say this because you have the queen of wands and then you have the king of swords and this what this is telling me is the queen of wands is more like um feeling a sexual desire but this person knows how to shut that off so this person might use that as far as a manipulation tactic like for power or exploitation and I'm seeing like it might be that this person knows how to project that. That's a part of your empathing ability, Scorps, is like, you might be such an empath, maybe your boundaries are still, you're in the process of getting them stronger, but this person, like, knows how to, like, they can turn off their sexual desire or sexual energy, and then all of a sudden, like, you're feeling it. I don't know, something weird like that, because I'm seeing something here where there's, like, a sexual desire here or a physical attraction, attraction element. And even for some of you guys, it could be a trophy, almost. You know, like, um, the grandiosity of this looks good next to me, you know? Keep that all in mind, because those grandiosities are really tricky that can pull you in, and you, you don't see it until later on when you're like, oh, shiz. No, I don't want that, you know? But the death card is pretty much saying, like, this is the Pluto retrograde. It's pulling up a lot of stuff. These are the Pluto retrogrades. They, they feel like you're unraveling, you know? They really... The Pluto energy can do that, where you just feel like you're coming apart at the seams, it's because there's something cellular that's like being released here. And so you, the way that you'll activate it more, ironically, is by coming into a higher vibration with the sun card. So every time you come into like joy, peace, enlightenment, this shadow will come up more to the surface just to get integrated 
okay? Because the shadow, like this is just all the joy that you feel, the more that you come into those moments and that energy, it'll just be pulling this up from the cells, okay? So it can actually like come out of you more and more. Okay, what an interesting reading. So I'm going to dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Scorpio, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.